Someone who is a bit worried about it, Dr. Kavita Patel. She's a professor of medicine at Stanford University and author of a new NBC News piece called Trump and RFK Jr.'s public health plan isn't just alarming, it would be a catastrophe. It's good to see you, my friend. So let's talk about Kennedy, who told NBC News this week that he, quote, wouldn't take away anyone's vaccines. But do you believe him? And what concerns you the most about his involvement in the greater public health world? Yeah, Alex, I think you have to look at a sum of his actions over the last decades. And I think it's entirely possible to honor what he said. I won't, quote, take away vaccines, but he absolutely can put into people, put people into positions of power, like at the Food and Drug Administration, all over the government that could weaken the strength of vaccine recommendations. Remember, the process is that there are these advisory committees. You and I have talked about them. They just make a recommendation to the CDC director, to the FDA. They, these are just recommendations that then the people in political power choose not to or to sign off of. They can use that same political interference, Alex, to intervene in individual medical product decisions. Remember how broad the FDA is, including rolling back even some things that we're familiar with, like over-the-counter birth control, the access to over-the-counter plan B. They can also hollow out federal scientific agencies just by driving out experienced staff, Alex, and also taking away appropriation dollars, because now they've got a Republican Congress, essentially, a Senate and a House that they can try to work with to take away some of these resources. And in your article, this is actually a good line, you liken him to um, having access to all the data. You liken him to a flat earther leading the next space mission. So right. the, the biggest issue for you in terms of damage that he could do to the public health system, I know you've outlined a bunch of things just now, but if given this kind of overall authority, what's the first thing that you think could tumble that worries you? Yeah, I think the first thing that could tumble are the existing kind of regulations around drugs, vaccines, things that we are very comfortable with. I just mentioned some over-the-counter drugs. Yeah. You can actually roll back some of what's existing in kind of the FDA to date. You and I have talked about kind of some of the uh, medications like misoprostol and some of the access to reproductive medications. Some of that could get rolled back just by simply having the regulatory power. And then I think it's just also maybe the more important thing, that's all very policy wonkish and specific. Alex, the more important thing is that there now appears to be a validation of that kind of flat earthism, this sense that vaccines, that somehow people like myself, that are doctors, that are trained to talk about public health, that we were all wrong. And that in fact, we were spewing lies. So I think the damage could be reputational. Who's gonna listen to doctors? Who's gonna listen to public health authorities and Alex, those are the very people that we need to trust when we have these emergencies. Mm. RFK Jr. told NBC News reporter Vaughn Hilliard this week that he may be given a czar-like position with direct right. access to the Trump White House. So what would that look like? And does it help prevent yeah. any risk by removing him <laughs> actually a step away from actual policy making? Yeah, you know, those of us who have worked, I worked in the Obama White House and mm -hmm. we had czars then. Every White House has kind of a, let's call it, um, Alex, kind of an advisor, a very senior role advisor, but someone who does not, as you mentioned, have hands on authority inside the agencies. That is certainly better than putting him in charge of the FDA. I don't expect that they will put him in charge of the FDA. I think that White House czar role is right, but you can do a lot of damage when you have proximity to the president. One thing that I'm kind of seeing, though, is that he could easily become the person that gets more attention than Donald Trump himself. I don't think the Trump White House would love that. But I also think that what, what's happening right now, what the public doesn't understand, is, Alex, there's a lot of kissing of the ring of RFK Jr. People have identified him as the person that kind of says yes or no to these health positions. So there's a slew of political appointees that want these jobs, and they're having to kind of sit and meet with RFK Jr. and make sure that their attitudes and their beliefs match up with his. So unlike other czars that I've seen and I've even worked around, this one right now has an incredible amount of power. So what happens to the ACA during the Trump administration? Yeah. What's your expectation? Good there? news. So the good news, and that's as you point out, like the ACA, the Affordable Care Act, I worked on that law. I'm very proud of what we did, what we did in 2010 to get that law across the board, including with some Republican support. What I will see happening now are still a slate of bills it can't be undo. It can't not be undone by a White House pen. 
I just want to make that clear. You can take away parts of the Affordable Care Act and weaken them. You cannot dismantle the ACA just by a regulatory White House signature. So you do need to work with Congress. And the key piece here that could not happen during the first Trump administration is repeal the ACA and replace with what? So could they become smarter in four years and find something to replace it with? It's absolutely possible, but it's going to be an uphill battle because some of the very entities that Trump is very positive around, American-based companies, Alex, those companies started because of the Affordable Care Act. So you're talking mm -hmm. about ripping away jobs. You're talking about ripping away access to the many voters that he claims are in his loyal voter base. So it's complicated. I think he can weaken parts of it. Can't take it all away. Okay. Dr. Kavita Patel, uh, sobering, but good conversation. Thank you. Thank you.